What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP and you may remember, I believe it was two episodes ago, three? Something like that, we robbed a shop, by we I mean of course Fred and Matthew and I, and I acted as a distraction. Well, the cop who was investigating that, Jake, messaged me after that asking for more details, which is legit, you can do that, you can get in contact with him. He sent me a message last night saying, Hey, can you pop on so we can discuss more about what you saw? Because of course they caught Fred. And I was like, yeah, sure. But something doesn't seem right with this. I don't know, because Fred snitched on Matthew, and I swear if he snitched on me as much as I love you, Fred, I'm gonna fucking kill you. So I'm waiting to hear him. Ooh, red, fuck it, red light. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear off the cop now, Jake. And uh, I'm going to go back in for questioning and talk some more about what I saw, I presume. I can't, I'm not quite sure what he wants. But if he ends up arresting me for conspiracy to robbery, or anything like that, I am actually going to find Fred and I'm going to fucking murder him. <laughs> that's, that's how I roll, baby. I'm a hardened criminal. Oh, nice drift. Accidental. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for a message off the cop now. And I will bring you back once I know what is happening, because I'm genuinely kept in the dark right now. Oh, I just got the message through. I don't know if you caught that. Um, so, Mission Row. Oh, my giddy ant. That was fucking close. Right, let's see if I can slide down this bitch. Yeah. That would be really uncomfortable in real life. So, Mission Row. Let's take a nice drive down there, maybe do a few drifts along the way, you know what I'm saying. And of course my engine's dead for no freaking reason. Seems legit. I heard kicking your car fix it. Yeah, apparently it does. Don't try it though. So yeah, I'm genuinely curious what this is. But okay, that one broke my car. Brakes. Nope. <laughs> Oh, god damn. Why is my car broken all of a sudden? I don't know. But yeah, I'm not here with Matthew or anyone today. I just want to see what this cop's about, as if I'm living my normal life, which I literally was. I was doing mining. Okay, I think I worked out why my engine's broke. I keep crashing. <laughs> oh, god damn it. There's a mechanic down here somewhere. This corner's a bitch. I'm still going to drift it, though. Straight into a car. And that is how you enter a repair station. <laughs> that was a sick drift. Right, let's give this a quick fix. See who we got. Oh, engine must be turned off to repair. Of course it fucking does. Off. Slash fix. Mike the mechanic is looking at your car. What are you going to find, Mike? She's pretty mint on the front end. And maybe the sides and back. And suspension. Mike looks confused. Of course you do, Mike. You're a fucking idiot. Mike goes to look for help. Who are you gonna find? Mike, where are you? Which one's you? You gotta be that dude there with the coffee. And then that. No, Mike's the dude there with the hat. And then he's gonna get Mike's manager, which is the, the dude with the coffee. It's almost like I've done this before. <laughs> The manager also is <laughs> hitting it with a hammer. That's not how you fix things, guys. Unless you're like a really manly man. Which I'm totally not. Did you see, the new see? manager fixed it. Awesome. I don't want to go over the curb and damage my car. But I did anyway. Green light. The way I'm driving, I should probably put my seatbelt on. That'll do. Right, we're almost at the um, police station now, so I'm going to slow the hell down. Take a sick drift into it, maybe lose control a bit, that's how you do it. And park by here. That looks sick in the map black, fair play. Right, let's go inside and see what this detective wants. Oh, 
Hopefully he's just waiting inside for me. Might have to ring the bell a few times or something like that. Nice that they leave the doors unlocked. Ah, uh, Mr. Ballsack. Hey, how's it going, uh, officer? I'm saying that right, right? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. How's it going, investigator Von Lincoln? So, uh, good news. We have basically recovered the uh, money that was stolen from the store, and presumably some of you. So, all I need from you is basically, I need you to, I, I know, I'm sorry, you gotta go through basically what happened again. Kind of like your statement, like before, describe how, you know, you described me, you walked into the store, they stole, you know, they pointed a gun at you, they emptied your pockets and all that fun stuff. All yeah. that, I need you to then sign it. And, yeah. I can do that. that. Sounds about right. I'm just coming to the office here. Give you a notepad, a pen, and a couch to sit on. So yeah, I mean, I I, I obviously would just use the, uh, you know, the notes that I took on you while uh, while you were talking to me. But unfortunately, the court needs something a little bit more, something a little bit more solid from you. Yeah, that's fine. I'll uh, write it down as you tell as I tell you what happened. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, yeah, yeah, that'll work just fine. You can take a seat if you'd like. As I'm fine standing. Alright, I got you. So yeah, I was um, going to a shop, and I was going northbound up the Great Ocean Highway. I took a right, well, I was going to take a right into the car park, but there was these two black, like, Pegasi cars blocking the entrance. So I went around the back and parked behind them, because they clearly jackasses. Uh, got out my car, locked it, uh, I went inside the store. I thought it was odd there was no clerk there, but, you know, sometimes they're out the back or something. And as I walked up to the counter to grab a chocolate bar, the one the dudes popped up from behind the counter, well, the dude, and uh, had a gun out, and he pointed at me and told me to put my hands up, so clearly I obliged to that. And then he told me to turn around and face the door, between him and the door, and uh, I was a bit scared, I'll admit. So I faced the door, and he started shouting back to the girl who was out back. I didn't know she was out there, but shouting back, I knew that she was, well, someone was. And uh, then he got kind of erratic and told me to empty my pockets. I only had a dollar forty on me, so I took that out and popped her on the floor. He came around the counter and picked it up, and I would have tried to get a, like a get away when he was down, like hit him or something. But I knew there was two of them, so that would be a bad idea. So I just stood there, and then he shouted back to the girl, "How long's left?" She replied, "Not long now," and then about. I'd say 30 seconds later, she ran out the front door, ran out from the back towards the front door, and they both went into the corner by the door together, pointing their guns out at the street. Um, the guy turned to me and said, don't move, and then they ran out. So I walked towards the door and shouted to the cops that it was the two guys in the black cars that were fleeing the scene. And then you guys were already on scene. I see. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, that's ba that's basically what you described when we were at the scene. So that's all. That's all good. Um, but <clears throat> so, Mr. Balsek, are there not any other like liquor stores or convenience stores from where you live up in the Vinewood Hills to Chumash? Seems seems like a little bit you know out of the way for you. Yeah, I was on my way up to uh, Fort Zancudo as I told you yesterday. I'm ex-military, and I got a few buddies up Fort Zancudo, so I was on my way up there anyway. And I was going to get a protein bar, but they didn't seem to have any, so I settled for a chocolate bar. I get, okay, I got you. And and you said the infernaces were already there when you rolled up, so you had to pull around. I don't... That, 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 I mean, that must have been difficult, right? Uh, it was quite tight, but other than that, it was fine. I'm a pretty good driver. Yeah, I got you. He's so and again, you don't you don't know either of the robbers. Like you don't know the uh, you don't know the male one that uh, pointed the gun at you and all that stuff. 
Oh no, definitely not. I wouldn't hang around with people like that. <laughs> I've got so many criminal charges. I got you. Okay. Uh, so what do you uh, so what so what uh, what do you do for work, Mr. Balsack? Nah, uh, just odd jobs here and there. I was doing some mining uh, earlier today. Basically, just simple cash in hand stuff. I got you. Yeah. Well, guess that's all I really need. Hmm. I got your statement. Did, did you sign it right there at the bottom? Yeah, I'll do that for you now. All right. Got it. Excellent. Excellent. You know, it's good. You know, we uh, we basically know uh, we, we've already got one arrested. We actually arrested the female uh, a little bit impressed. after we told you we got them. Uh, so we arrested the female. I do believe the male is still uh, still at large, unfortunately. But uh, we're, we're we're getting there. We got one out of two, obviously. Yeah. Well, may I don't know. Maybe the one you got. You said it was the female that you got. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, we got the female. Maybe. You should try and convince her to uh, give up her friend. Get a reduced sentence, something like that, maybe. Yeah, it's really nice when people do that, isn't it, Wrigley? Yeah. The, the tone yeah. he said that. So, Wrigley, um, now that you've signed that, um, I, gotta, I gotta say, I mean, would you say you're a friendly guy? You know, you, you, know, you, you, like, to, you like to talk, you like to, you know... Have conversations. I try to be helpful. I wouldn't say I like to talk. Try but... to be helpful. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because you know, you know, obviously we look at the CCTV, and when something like this happens, gives us a lot of clues. And uh, hmm. you know, I gotta say, there's not a really lot of uh, pointing the gun at you or robbing you, really. And in fact, it looks like you're having a pretty nice conversation with the gentleman that's robbing the joint. What'd you guys talk about? Like sports, girls, cars? Uh, clearly you've been misinformed. You might want to check that CCTV again. I, I, I don't know, sir. I mean, I, 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 I was told that by the CCTV, if you know what I mean. So if, if that's any different, I, I might have to uh, take a look at my recording right here on the computer. Hold on just a moment. Yeah, I definitely wasn't friendly with that dude. I had my hands up the entire time. I'm almost certain of that. Alright, get rid of the notepad now. CCTV shows victim had hands up the entire time facing the door. Only exception was when he emptied his pockets on the floor, loose change. Did not show any signs of being friendly with either robber. I don't know where he got that information from. I, I genuinely don't. I'm I'm convinced. I'll have, I'm going to check my footage after this. I haven't edited that video yet. But I'm almost convinced I had my hands up the entire time. Like, that was the point for me to be innocent. It shows the rob pointing the firearm and taking his... change. He briefly lowered his gun, as I said in my statement, uh, to pick up the change. I, I, who's giving him wrong information? If it was Fred, Fred don't know what the fuck he's on about. And if it was Matthew, I'm going to fucking slap him. Sorry about that, sir. It must have been a uh, different robbery. Uh, I, was, uh, I, 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 was, I was misinformed about uh, the circumstances, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that surprised me as well, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, well, then I guess that's all I really have for it. You kind of uh, plan this to go a different way, but that's okay. Uh, so basically, when we do recover the uh, cash, you, you can just um, reference this case number I'm about to give you, and that way it'll make it a lot easier. I know it's only a dollar and forty, but you know every little bit helps, right? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. That did surprise me, but you did recover the money, did you? Uh, not quite yet, but we know where it is. So once we once we find it, we we're pretty sure we're gonna know where to find it. Yeah, that's definitely good. I don't know, that, it's just surprising how the CCTV, as you say, it must have been a different robbery. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, we can, uh, yeah. So, like I said, uh, I'd say in a couple of weeks or so, I might send you a text. 
or, uh, or an email or something like that. You can basically just come down to Mission Row uh, here. You can get in with the, uh, with the with the desk sergeant. Basically, just consult the case number. You don't have to ID yourself. You know, just say, hey, I, I got my ID right here. I'm Wrigley Ballsack. They'll probably go to the back and then uh, get the evidence out, and you will be able to reclaim your stolen property. Awesome, that's good. I'm just grateful they didn't take my car. I spent a lot of pretty much my life savings on that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll want that to happen. Um, I, I, those were stolen vehicles, though, so that's uh, probably good that they chose some other people's cars, and not yours. <laughs> yeah, that was a very smart choice of car. I'll be honest. You see them all around that area. <laughs> mm, yeah. Chumash, all full of all the richies. Yeah, exactly. Right, um, if that's everything, I've got some mining to get back to. <laughs> Alright, well that sounds like a plan. I got your statement right here, and I uh, gave you the case number, so yeah, looks like we're all set. You have a um, good rest of your day, Mr. Balsack, and um, hope you, hopefully you don't get robbed again. Yeah, hopefully. I'll try and be uh, more careful in the future. Have a great day, officer. Right, have a good one. Yeah, you too. That is odd. Why would Matthew... It was Matthew. I got confirmation as I was writing my statement. Why would Matthew tell a different side of the tale? Huh. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to him about that. Perhaps he saw something I didn't, or perhaps he was mistaken. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm not going to place the blame on him. It could very well be accurate that I'm wrong, but I'm sure... Be sure. I had my hands up the entire time, other than when I took the change out of my pocket. And I didn't talk to him much at all. I didn't face him. I, I genuinely I don't know what he told the cop. I, I seriously thought that Fred had grasped me up because he grasped Matthew up. But I, I just. And the thing is. Well, actually, no, I was going to say that Matthew and Fred's statements wouldn't line up, but if she's out the back, then that would make sense, that they would have different statements and wouldn't know what was going on out the front. I don't know, that just, that absolutely bewilders me. As I said, I'm going to talk to Matthew and try and clear some things up. I want to know what he told the cop. Because, unless he was just trying to land me in the shit to try and get a lesser sentence, if, if that's true, I swear to God... I've got vengeance on my mind when I got caught up in shit like this. Right, anyway, as I said, I'm going to get back to my robberies. Robberies, there it is. I'm going to get back to my mining. That's the word I was looking for. And I'm going to talk to Matthew afterwards and see exactly what he told that cop. And I will try and put a little snippet at the end of this clip to see what truly happened. <laughs> 